up to Impossible Boy Powers, the building. Most of you know that half of life of Barack Obama, not half, I don't know, some, was in Indonesia. Barack Obama lived in Indonesia when he was growing up. So, we are going to react. What is, what is inside the house that Barack Obama grew up in, in Indonesia? When a six-year-old Barack Obama arrived in Jakarta, Indonesia, oh, six. it all must have seemed a world away from what the young American boy was used to. Jakarta. This is the house that young Obama moved into when his family first came to Indonesia 40 years ago. At the time, these streets weren't paved and many of the houses didn't have electricity. Yet by Jakarta standards, this was middle class. The current home's owner allowed us an exclusive look inside. A large living room leads into a dining room and an atrium overlooks the, house the kitchen. When Obama lived there, From his family didn't have a refrigerator. The house this small bedroom looks out to the backyard, the part of the house Obama has said he'll never forget. His stepfather had turned their tiny backyard into any little boy's dreams. A monkey, birds, a dog, chickens, Oof. even two baby crocodiles. You used to play soccer here? Yes. Was he any good? Yeah. Indra Matawa lived just a few doors from Obama and remembers typical boyhood adventures. So you would get up on the roof yes. and fly kites? Yes. Obama was the first African-American many of the neighborhood kids had seen, and he endured endless teasing about his curly black hair. Barry, dulu. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Here, friends knew him as Barry. 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 I don't know Obama. Barry Satoro. He had taken the last name of his Indonesian stepfather. Indra says what he remembers most about Barry, who was actually quite chubby at the time, was how much Barry, he would Mr. eat how are you? whenever he came to Andrew's home. He'd come over and eat you out of house and home. Yes, yes, every day. While the street the boys lived on was middle class, like most of Jakarta, the stark reality of poverty is just a short bike ride away. Obama has said the things he saw in Jakarta will remain with him the rest of his life. After Barack's stepfather landed a higher paying job with an American oil company based in Jakarta, he was able to afford to move the family to this house in what's considered a nicer neighborhood. They were able to afford not only a refrigerator, but some part-time servants. Obama's family rented the house from this man's family. Nice he gave Inside Edition exclusive access. And this was a little sitting room. Sitting this is a small room. study where friends say Barack did his homework every day. This is kind of the master bedroom. Master bedroom. <laughs> the house gave the family more room. After they moved in, Obama's half-sister, Maya, was born. Barack's bedroom was in here. And this was Barack's bedroom, yeah. a room he is likely to remember very well. According to Obama, every weekday morning, his mother would bring breakfast to his bedroom and then tutor him in English for three hours before she went to work and before he went to school. But it wasn't all studying. Barack quickly made friends in the new neighborhood. Boyhood friend Slummit remembers playing ping pong with Obama in this room and playing Monopoly with him for hours on this little porch. He lost a lot. He didn't win all the time at Monopoly. You called him Barry. Barry. This friend named Sonny Barry. says he never expected that his old friend could quite possibly be the next American president. It does surprise you. Yes. He remembers his friend Barry as funny and adventuresome, but says his mother made sure his studies always came first, a commitment that resulted in Obama attending two vastly different schools while in Jakarta, where he made impressions on his teachers that would last for more than 40 years. You really do remember him? Yes. Do you know who that is? Uh, yes. Who? It's Barack Obama. What's he famous for? Uh, he's the... He's going to be a president of America. This is the Assisi Catholic Grammar School in Jakarta, Indonesia. Assisi. And Barack Obama is on his way to becoming its most famous former Assisi. student. Barack Obama. The only record of Obama having attended the school is this old register. And look, it lists his name as Barry Satoro. That's the name Obama took from his Indonesian stepfather, Lolo Satoro. He was smart in mat mathematics. Very smart in mathematics. Yes. And this is Obama's first grade teacher. 
as it is today. In 1968, wow. the school was very crowded. 40 kids to a class. But she had no problem remembering Obama. She's bigger and taller, with a black skin, a curly hair. Obama may have stood out, but he was popular, an excellent student, and even showed signs back then that he's a true politician. When he was entering the classroom, he would shake the hands of his friends and say, how are you? And he would greet everyone in the classroom. His third grade teacher says Obama wrote a composition saying one day he wanted to be president, but didn't say of what country. That class register lists his nationality as Indonesian and his religion as Islamic. But his teachers say that was probably because his stepfather was. When Obama's stepfather changed jobs and moved the family to another neighborhood in Jakarta, Obama's mother enrolled him in the Basuki Public School, which has a reputation for being one of the best in the city. This was your third grade classroom? Yanto and Ai recall their classmate Barry vividly. He was the chubby boy who towered over the other kids in the class. Barry sat here, Barry Barak sat there, and then you sat there. <laughs> the school's makeup reflects the population of Indonesia, Barry more than 90% there. Muslim. Not long ago, the school became an issue in the presidential race. The internet was buzzing with false reports that the school was a fundamentalist madrasa, a strict training ground for radical Islamics. When you heard that people in the U.S. were saying the school was a madrasa, what did you think? Misinformation. It's unlikely that whoever started that rumor ever set a foot inside right. the school. Could because be if they had, they would have found hundreds of smart, happy and very independently acting kids. Former students and teachers say it's always been that way. There is a mosque in the school. It overlooks the playground. And every day at noon, the children are called to prayer. But it's not a requirement. Our cameras were allowed to go inside the mosque and observe the children in prayer. The boys and girls are separated, as is tradition in Islam. But there is also a small chapel for the handful of Christian students who attend the school. They assemble in the chapel at noon for Bible reading and prayer. <laughs> During our visit, the students seemed more into badminton and basketball than religious study. There you go. Obama attended the Basuki Public School for less than two years. However, his classmates recently reunited to take a good luck Barry photo. Obama was in the CC Catholic School. Obama's third grade teacher prays every day that the youngster she once taught in Indonesia, remarkable as it may seem, becomes president of the United States. What if he was the teacher, what, do you th what, do, what, what would you want to, your dream to be? Like you taught a kid in a nursery, whatever class you taught, but he became a president. That's a big achievement for any teacher and it's a big achievement for any kid out there who have dreams. Follow your dreams. One day you'll make it in life. So this video is done. And I'm happy that I've watched. I knew I had the story of Barack Obama grew up in Indonesia. But Barack's story doesn't end. Barack, like, he grew up everywhere, man. Because if you go everywhere, he has footsteps. He left. Thank you so much for clicking. Subscribe if you're new, like, and share this video. Bye.